YouTube, what is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a brand new video and as you guys clicked on the video for I'm doing a WrestleMania review and this will include post rock uh, thoughts as well because, well, you can't judge a real WrestleMania until after the night of. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I won't talk about the pre-show really. I didn't get to see it. I was working. I came home like at 7.20 and then I caught the ladder match later. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the ladder match. The ladder match was good, um, but let's go ahead and talk about it for a minute. It had great spots from everyone. Zack Ryder, I'm okay with winning, but I'm not okay with him dropping the belt the next fucking night. There's no point for him to win then. Absolutely none. To win a match, and I'm going to be honest... His amount of screen time was pr between last year's WrestleMania and this one. This one could be hours. Not close. You cannot tell me he had 10 hours of screen time on there. Maybe he has had like 5 hours of total on screen time. And that's pushing it. Yeah. I had to... Had to... Tell my phone, I know I'm at 20%. But it's fucking stupid for him to win and then drop the belt the next night. So, match was fine. Outcome, alright. But fucking stupid then. Fucking stupid because of the next night. Because he dropped it to Miz. Just have Miz win it. There's no need for him to just push off. Just to have him have a WrestleMania mode. No, that's fucking stupid. The next match, um... Was the um, AJ Styles versus um, Chris Jericho? <laughs> Vince, you couldn't let it go, could you? He's a TNA guy, so fuck him. Let AJ Styles fucking job to Chris Jericho, but you you let it you let it slide for the next night because he won. I'm letting it slide because now he's the number one contender for the world heavyweight title. This is the only reason I'm letting it slide. That's why I judge WrestleMania from the post Raw as well. I'm letting it slide. Great match. Just, again, shitty outcome. I'm going to bitch a lot about the out outcomes on this. Because whoever was writing WrestleMania just didn't have a damn clue. Did not have a clue whatsoever. Just might as well just... just Grab a pen and start writing crap down because this is what the writer did for endings. Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and now talk about the Divas title match. No, not the Divas, the women's title. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. Great match. Great match. Everyone's good. But I'm sorry. I like Charlotte as a wrestler, but she is not a women's championship material if she can't cut a promo. Because this is how her promos go. I'm doing this, I'm so good, because I'm Ric Flair's daughter. Someone interrupts, someone tells Ric Flair he's shit. And you can't live off that. And then so on and so forth. And even tonight on Raw, she started to try to attempt to copy the fucking promo that Daniel Bryan gave about gratitude. Really. Really. It's fucking ridiculous. This is bullshit. It needs to stop. She needs to learn how to get... And I know I'm going to get so much shit for saying this. But she needs to take time off TV. She needs to take some promo classes from someone. Because she ain't doing a good job. She can't cut a promo. She just can't. She's a great wrestler. But just can't do a promo. And now this match, I'm going to bitch. Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar. Brock's a great wrestler. They have a mouthpiece. 
boom, and Paul Heyman saw I'm okay with it. So you gotta get, Charlotte maybe needs a mouthpiece, but Ric Flair ain't a mouthpiece. I'm sorry, he's not. You're not gonna have him around forever. So you have to get something for Charlotte because Ric Flair doesn't do a good mouthpiece. All he does is cheat it, and they're trying to let Charlotte cut promos, but she does a terrible job at them, and I'm not going to get on too much about it. Just Charlotte needs acting classes badly in the worst way possible. Um, so I'm going to get a lot of maybe a lot more flack for this because Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar needed to be way more than what it was. Brock Lesnar does an excellent in-ring job. Excellent. But this street fight was stupid. This was stupid. There was kindle sticks, chairs, and that was it. A barbed wire bat was not used because it's PG. I didn't expect it. I actually thought the barbed wire bat was going to be used. They gave the chainsaw out, and I thought, no, there's no way in hell. I'm like, but maybe for WrestleMania, they'll go a little bit edgy. They'll go to this match and say, this is not for the pain of hurt, folks. Dean Ambrose is going to do whatever it takes to win. And it's not that. Not that at all. It's him getting his ass beat with like him having five minutes of offense. Who cereal did Dean Ambrose shit in and piss the writers off this much? Okay. The Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I have not heard a lot of Baron Corbin. I haven't. I haven't at all. Never heard of the guy. Not once. Not once. But have him win the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I didn't particularly care. I wasn't going to be all upset about it. No. I wasn't going to be all flustered and get all mad and blah, 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 blah. I wasn't going to do that. That wasn't too big of a deal. I also messed... I didn't get the League of Nations versus the New Day. It's... Eh, I, didn't, I honestly didn't care about the match. It wasn't for the titles. It was just about supremacy. And now they're going to have the... League of Nations take on the Wyatt family. I'm assuming Herper's about to be back. So then it's going to be the League of Nations has the number game again. But then Herper comes back. And now it's 4v4. Who can take on? Can the Wyatt family beat the League of Nations? Can the League of Nations beat the Wyatt family? And so on and so forth. This is why these four group factions don't work that well. Single feuds suffer from it. And then... It's hard to do them, and I guess WWE likes them, but I can't, I don't know, I wasn't too big of the New Day, I like New Day, but the League of Nations I don't give a shit about, so I didn't give much shit of the, I didn't like them winning, but I was gonna not care, again, shitty booking, but, so, again, the theme of this mania is they didn't give a crap who won. They literally just wrote it down on a piece of paper. Like, this was like a 50-50 shot on a test, and you're just writing something down. They were just like, okay, this person wins. 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 Oh, Roman versus Triple H. I know this one. Fuck the community. <laughs> it's asinine. Pure asinine. I'm going to talk about the Hell in a Cell match here in a minute. This main event was so bad. This made Mania even worse. I knew this match wasn't going to be good. But it, it didn't live up to any slight expectation at all. For real. If you see me piss because I'm actually pissed. At this main event. It was that bad. Great. Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns wins. And he was booed out of Mania. Because you guys are going to keep pushing him down the throat. When no one wants him. 
I'm not a big well, I like his editing ability, but again, he can't talk. If you're gonna be a champion, and I'm not, and believe me, I'm not a guy that says you have to be able to talk to be a champion. I'm not one of those guys. I'm not. But if you're gonna be a champion, you're gonna have to do both. You have to be good on the mic, and you have to be good on the in the ring. And Charlotte and Roman Reigns are not good on both of them. One of them. They're not good on the mic. They can't deliver promos. They don't work as heels. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just don't work at heels. But Roman Reigns hasn't talked as a heel. He was just going to believe that. Charlotte, I think, can do a somewhat good job as a face. But now, let's talk about the Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell was awesome. I don't give a sh really flab about what happened because Shane's going to get to run Raw. I didn't. I wanted Shane to win because Shane's awesome, but Undertaker wins next year. John Cena versus Undertaker will happen. Undertaker retires. Done. Maybe we'll get heel Cena. <laughs> With that all being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really. That's the only good thing. If I had to give Mania a score, it gets a four out of ten, slightly below average. So hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, do all the YouTube stuff, and YouTube. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.